Hello, everyone. Welcome to Financial Accounting. Today, we're going to look at business activities. All companies are engaged in three basic business activities operating, investing, and financing. Operating activities are the activities a company performs in order to earn revenues. Examples of operating activities include sales of goods and services, payments to suppliers for inventory, payments to employees for services, and the government for taxes. Revenues are normally identified according to their source. For example, revenues received from selling products are called sales. Revenues received from providing services are called fees earned. To earn revenue, a business incurs costs such as wages and salaries, rent, insurance, advertising, freight, and utilities. Costs used to earn revenue are called expenses. The cost of products sold is referred to as the cost of merchandise sold, cost of sales, or cost of goods sold. Other expenses are normally classified as either selling expenses or administrative expenses. Selling expenses are those costs that are directly related to the selling of a product or service. For example, selling expenses include sales salaries, sales commissions, and advertising costs. Administrative expenses include other costs not directly related to the selling, such as office salaries and other office costs. By comparing the revenues for a period of time to the related expenses, we can see whether the company has earned net income or incurred a net loss. Net income results when revenues exceed expenses, and net loss results when expenses exceed revenues. Investing activities involve using funds provided from either financing activities, operating activities, or investing activities in order to start and operate the business. Examples of investing activities include sales and purchases of property, plant, and equipment, payments to make loans to other entities, and collection on principal on loans to other entities. Depending on the type of business, a company needs to buy different assets. Most businesses need assets such as computers and office furniture. Some businesses may also need to purchase equipment, a building, land, or maybe a resort. Those assets have physical characteristics and therefore are called tangible assets. Long-term tangible assets such as machinery, buildings and land, also known as property, plant and equipment, are reported separately from the short-term tangible assets such as inventories. Companies may also need intangible assets. For example, a business may purchase patent rights to use in manufacturing. Long-term assets such as patents and copyrights are reported separately as intangible assets. Financing activities of a business include borrowing transactions and owner investments into the company. Borrowing creates liabilities. A liability is a legal obligation to repay a creditor at a point in the future based upon terms set by the creditor. A business can also be financed by its owners, making investments in the organization. An owner's investment differs from a liability because future repayment from the company is not expected. When a company borrows money, it incurs a liability, which is a legal obligation to repay the amount borrowed according to the terms of the borrowing agreement. Many companies borrow by issuing notes payable. A note payable is an agreement that requires payment of the amount borrowed plus interest. Notes payable may be issued on a short-term or long-term basis. The company may also borrow money by issuing bonds. Bonds are sold to investors and require payment of interest. 
The amount of the bonds is called the face value. It usually requires repayment several years in the future. That is why bonds are a form of long-term financing. The interest on the bonds is usually paid every six months. Bond obligations are reported as bonds payable and any interest that is due is reported as interest payable. Corporations may issue a variety of different types of stock. The most common type of stock is called common stock. The term capital stock refers to all the types of stock the corporation may issue. Investors who purchase the stock are referred to as stockholders or shareholders. Creditors and stockholders have different claims on the assets of a corporation. Assets are the resources owned by a company. Creditors have the first claim on the company's assets. The stockholders have a right to the corporate assets only after the creditor's claims are satisfied. That's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.